Once upon a time, there was a little house on a little hill way out in the country. She was a happy little house, for she loved the country life, the peace and quiet, the warm sun on her roof, and the whisper of the summer breeze round her eaves. by, the little house was blessed with new additions and distractions. But little pains, even broken ones, are soon forgotten. It was only at night that the little house felt just a little bit lonely and wondered what it would be like to have other houses around to talk to. Then she would gaze wistfully toward the distant lights of the city, never realizing that all the time, those lights were coming closer and closer. Gracious me thought the little house. What perfectly elegant neighbors. Why, well, I'm right in the very center of the social world. <laughs> I was only trying to be neighborly. the little house. What a pity. Still, they weren't very nice. The years rolled faster now, and the little house saw the dawn of a new century. The tempo of life had quickened. Everything was bigger and better, for this was the age of progress. Well, do tell. Here I am completely surrounded by progress. Hey, shut up! Say! Who are you telling to shut up? Why? Oh, yeah! Try that on your saxophone! Who say shut up? I say so! Yeah. Go on, you big If only I could go with them, thought the little house. But of course, she couldn't. Come what may, she had to stand her ground. Should all the Quakers be forgotten? The enemies of all anxiety. Happy New Year! But the little house felt that she could never, never be happy again. Not with this awful, empty feeling inside. There's one thing about progress, it always 
progresses. <coughs> well, good riddance. Maybe now I can have a little peace and... Uh-oh. Now what? city grew, reaching upward, higher and higher. The sky was the limit. Oh dear, what's to become of me? Will I never see the sun again? Or feel the gentle touch of the summer breeze? Or hear the song of the meadow lark? forgotten little house. There was nothing left now. Not even hope. There she is, boys. That little old shack? Yeah. Okay. Let's get it over with. Yes. Get it over with. I'm just in the way. No good to anybody. But land sakes, I shouldn't complain. I've had a very full life for a house, and we all have to go sometime. It wasn't the end after all. It was just the beginning. Oh, it took a little time and a lot of fixing, but all that really mattered was that she'd found someone. Or rather, they'd found her. Someone to love and cherish her. Someone who knew that the best place to find peace and happiness is in a little house on a little hill way out in the country. <laughs> 